Christmas Carol is one of my favourite stories. I'm always happy to watch new adaptations and I love animation. So I was really looking forward to Scrooge A Christmas Carol. This is the 2022 animation. It's directed by Stephen Donnelly and it's from the studio um, Timeless Films who have done some other really brilliant animations. So there were a lot about this that I had really high hopes for. Before watching it, I didn't realise that Olivia Colman voiced the Ghost of Christmas Past. That was a pleasant surprise. And actually, I feel like it was very enjoyable and I really liked it. It's never going to be my favourite adaptation of Dickens' as A Christmas Carol, but I thought it was pretty good. The only real point of criticism I have is that it seems overexposed. Now, I don't know if that's the right terminology I'm using. I'm not an animator, but some of the colours seem so bright it almost washed the character's features out. Um, and, and it wasn't all the time either. Uh, and mostly it was the character of Scrooge. I don't know why that is. I tried turning the brightness on my screen, but I wasn't prepared to fiddle with contrast. Um, but that's just something that stood out to me pretty much immediately when I started watching it. It is on Netflix. I've never noticed that before with anything on Netflix, so I'm not sure why that is. But if you have any more information on that or can talk about it from a more accurately technical perspective, uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. But aside from that, I feel like everything was going really strong. Jacob Marley looks amazing. The design of all of the characters, um, apart from obviously being slightly overexposed or too bright or whatever, um, I thought was fabulous across the board. But Jacob Marley looked amazing. Really, really love the design there. And we have a lot of creativity with the, the spirits of past, present and yet to come. I love the personalities of them, I think. Um, they definitely had a more spicy personality to them. They were very um, creative. They've got a lot more character to them than the characters in Dickens's novella. Which is just something to bear in mind if you prefer the more traditional approach. They're definitely a lot more fun and a lot more engaging. I do think that this gives us a more detailed look into Scrooge's past than pretty much any adaptation I've seen. Um, a couple of them I haven't seen in quite a while, so I can't say that for a fact. But I definitely think that Scrooge's character was very well developed, maybe more so than in Dickens's novella. And maybe I shouldn't say that, but I do. I think his character was a lot more interesting. Um, maybe he didn't come off as much of a Scrooge as Dickens' as Scrooge does, so that's maybe a point of criticism, that he didn't quite seem as bar humbug. But I do feel like the character development and also the look at his past, I think, was a lot more detailed and made me feel for him a bit more and made me want the best for him more than I do perhaps with some other versions of the character. I think the, the pacing is very good. It gets to the point quickly enough, but allows some time to set up. The quality of the animation is stunning, if a little bright or overexposed or whatever at certain points. But the detail is incredible. The architecture of the buildings looks absolutely fabulous. The clothing the characters are wearing, their facial expressions, all of that I found to be very pleasing. And the music was great as well. I wouldn't call it a musical, but there are some, there are, there are some music numbers in it and it worked very well and it didn't feel too out of place in those aspects of it. I really liked Voice acting across the board is top form. Obviously, as I said, we've got Olivia Coleman as the ghost of Christmas past. Um, Jesse Buckley as a character called Isabel Fezziwig. Uh, Luke Evans as Scrooge. Uh, Johnny Flynn as Bob Cratchit. Really thoroughly enjoyed the performances. Uh, Jonathan Price as the brilliant Jacob Marley. Really love the character in this. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. It was really good. It's never going to be my favourite. It's not even my favourite animated version of Scrooge. But... If you're a fan of A Christmas Carol, I'd say definitely give it a watch. It tells the story very well. Uh, it definitely feels a little bit more child-friendly than some versions I've seen. But I think it's definitely a family film and I enjoyed it. I would happily watch it again. Scrooge A Christmas Carol may not be perfect, but it's definitely worth watching. 